What is up guys? I am Exotic Gaming and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D weapon review. So, over the past couple of days, I have not been uploading any weapon reviews to my channel, and the main reason is because I still want you guys to remember that I do have other series posted for Pixel Gun 3D on my channel. But, for today's video, and for the next couple of videos posted after today's video, we are going full force with the weapon review series, reviewing all of the newest weapons released in the most recent update to this game a couple of weeks ago, and, most importantly, going back to the original goal that we had when we started Pixel Gun 3D videos. That goal being, reviewing every single weapon in the entirety of Pixel Gun 3D. So, before I jump into today's review, which will be on the Gas Launcher UP1, I want you guys to go check out one video very quickly that I will have linked down below in the description. I'm not going to tell you much about the video, other than the fact that I did make it very recently, and I do think it turned out to be a very good video. So, you guys are really going to enjoy it if you do check it out. You're going to regret it if you do not click the link, so click check it out. I'll have it linked down below in the description, like I said. And with that being said, let's jump right into today's review. Now, when you first hear the words gas launcher, you would probably assume this weapon to be another area damage weapon because it actually has the words launcher in its name. Probably something like the fireworks launcher or maybe the big buddy. That's actually not the case with the gas launcher, however, because this weapon is actually another flamethrower, just like the flaming volcano UP2 and the pet dragon UP2. Now, if you are basing this weapon review solely off of stats, you can see that this weapon is very similar in stats compared with some of the other flamethrowers of this game. In fact, compared with the Flaming Volcano, it only has a 1 higher lethality and a 5 less capacity, so an almost unnegligible difference between the two. But, the main difference between the Gas Launcher UP1 and the other flamethrowers of this game is its aesthetic difference. The fact that this weapon is actually a green flamethrower. Yes, you heard me say it. Instead of shooting red fire, it shoots green fire. And with that being said, I'm going to jump into a match and show you just what this weapon does. So, jumping into a Colosseum match, we can see that this weapon is a very, very cool looking flamethrower, especially in first person mode. A map like Colosseum here is probably one of the best maps for this weapon as a flamethrower only performs well at close range. Many a time I see enemy players using weapons like this in maps like Heaven Garden and Parkour City and the truth is it really doesn't perform well in something like that because even at ranges about as far as I'm shooting right now to that torch, you probably won't be able to take the person out. Because it's not a matter of accuracy, it's actually a physical matter of the weapon. It literally cannot shoot past a certain distance. So please realize that when using a flamethrower and consider that when buying this weapon. You're not going to be able to use this weapon in every single map that you join into because it's really not how this weapon works. But if you can deal with the fact that you have to get very up close and personal when using this weapon, this will be a very, very good weapon for you. Now you are risking a lot when using this weapon. You're risking the fact that somebody who is using an area damage weapon might have the upper hand. In something like Silent School, where an area damage weapon might do best at very close range, somebody who does have something like maybe the Big Buddy can shoot at you from a relatively long range and blast you out of the way before you can ever manage to get towards the enemy player. So that is one of the very big downfalls with any sort of flamethrower in this game. But if you look past that aspect and you can manage to join matches where not too many people have those area damage weapons like I said and a lot of people have maybe an assault rifle or something like that and they're using them in a close range map which is really not the best range for these weapons then you will find this weapon is a very very good weapon and will take the care take care of anything that really needs to be done in a match in order to win. I have won quite a few matches when using this weapon and it's really not that hard as long as you can manage to pick and choose your matches wisely. You should probably not join into a match where every single player does have a one shot kill weapon because as you guys can see going against an adamant armored player it does take a little bit of time before you actually manage to take them out. So if they have something like the storm hammer or something like that it's going to be very very difficult to take them out so you have to be very evasive in your maneuvers and 
hopefully you can manage to dodge them. When using this weapon, you never want to stand still. Always move around as fast as you can. And as you, can, as you guys can see, these people who have something like maybe the laser bouncer or the laser crossbow will have a relatively difficult time because you are moving around so much that they really can't manage to get you in their crosshairs and fire at the proper time. So moving around is key when using a flamethrower like this weapon. You do not want to stand still, and if you are somebody who does that, who sits there at the edge of silent school waiting for somebody to come towards you, and you're using something like maybe the big buddy, do not recommend to use this weapon. I definitely would not recommend to do it because this weapon is going to be a weapon which you gotta move around a lot when using. So yeah, it requires a very different skill set compared to other weapons in this game, and it's something that takes some time to get used to. When you first use this weapon, you're probably not going to do too well when using it because it's a very unique skill set that not too many other weapons have. Now, truthfully, a lot of people do have the pet dragon, and they do know how the pet dragon works, but the people that do not have that, or have the flaming volcano, or have the high voltage, will not really know how this weapon works, and probably your first couple of matches you're not going to do too well when using this. But after you get the hang of the weapon, you can find out that it is a very good weapon and will take out a lot of players that you go up against. Now, despite this being a weapon which has a very fast firing rate, it does not run out of ammo very much at all. Very rarely will you ever find that you do run out of ammo with this weapon because, as you guys can see, you currently have 145 plus 75 in your like actual ready-to-go position with this weapon, so you have a lot of shots with this weapon to fire at will against enemy players. And since this is a weapon which you have to get up close and personal with, this is a spray and pray type of weapon. You gotta use this weapon holding down the firing button until you see an enemy player and that is pretty much how you use this gas launcher UP1. This weapon, I'm not entirely sure why it is called the gas launcher UP1. I have no idea why it is called a launcher because it certainly doesn't really launch anything and I don't know why it's called the gas launcher in particular because, well, you would indicate that it would probably shoot out something like a, a sludgy black slime or something like that if it would be gas. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm not really complaining. I really like how this weapon is, and I think it's really cool that there are different colored flamethrowers in this game. I mean, hey, we had the pet dragon, the flaming volcano, and we had the high voltage, which was a very unique electricity type of flamethrower, but we never really had anything of just a very unique color for a flamethrower. So... The Gas Launcher UP1 came in and it actually brought that into tuition. So it is a very, very cool weapon, guys, and I really do enjoy it. I have used this a lot in this most recent update and I have usually found some pretty good success when using it. The only big downside is the fact that it does take quite a decent amount of time to take out a fully adamant armored player. So a lot of the times that you do encounter somebody, like for example, this guy right here who has the storm hammer, you're going to die a lot. This is a weapon which you will die a lot when using. Probably not going to get multi and monster kills too much when using this weapon. You'll get single kills and double kills a lot, but getting some of those major kill streaks is really not a common occurrence with this weapon. If you really wanted to use a weapon which gave you a very good kill streak, stick with the assault rifles and the sniper rifles, stay at long range, and that is how you can most often get your best kill streaks in this game. So, yeah, not really a weapon for kill streaks, but it is a weapon which can give you a lot of kills very, very quickly. I mean, as you guys can see, I'm getting quite a decent amount of people in this match here, and there are still people that are using one-shot kill weapons. There are people using the laser bouncer, the storm hammer, and other weapons like that which are very difficult to compete with. But still, with the gas launcher you can still take these people out without much trouble. And it really is also a matter of luck if you go find somebody who is a very skilled player of Pixel Gun 3D and they use something like the laser bouncer, they are probably going to take you out before you take them out. But if you can manage to find somebody who just recently bought the laser bouncer and doesn't really know too much on how to use it the proper way, then you will probably be able to take them out relatively easily. So, I really do enjoy this weapon here, guys, and it does provide you some very, very good gameplay if you do know how to use it correctly, and it's a great weapon, guys. I really do have a lot of fun when using it, and I'm pretty sure a majority of the people watching this will do too. 
there are going to be some people who are watching this who are going to hate this weapon and they are going to regret the fact that they ever did consider purchasing it. But I would assume a majority, overwhelming amount of the people watching this video will have a lot of fun when using this weapon and that is why I would actually consider getting this. But there are certain terms as to when you should probably get this weapon. Now, if you are looking for a very good flamethrower and you are somebody who is trying to find something on a budget and you already have either the flaming volcano, the high voltage, or the pet dragon, do not get this weapon. As I said before at the very beginning of this video, it is very, very similar in terms of stats and the gameplay really isn't much different between those four weapons. Actually, if I was to like vote any flamethrower, I'd go vote for the high voltage over all of them because the high voltage is probably the most powerful flamethrower out of the four that are currently in this game. But if you do not have any sort of flamethrower in the game, you do not have any of the four that I did mention, well, you might want to consider getting this weapon out of those three. Well, I mean, you probably should get the high voltage anyways, but if you were to go between the pet dragon, the gas launcher, and the flaming volcano, it's really all up to you. It's all based off of personal preference. The gameplay that you get between the three aren't very, very different between each other. I have actually tested all three in the same match, and as funny as it seems, I actually literally got the same exact amount of kills in the first half with the Flaming Volcano, or the first third with the Flaming Volcano, the second third with the Gas Launcher, and the last third with the Pet Dragon. Pretty much the same exact amount of kills, and that is pretty much how those three weapons work. So, like I said, all based off of opinion, guys, and if you can manage to use this weapon well and properly, you will not even need to have any of the other ones. You just need to have one of them, and you'll get some great gameplay with it. I do think it looks great in first person, in my personal opinion. I think Really Soft has done a great job, actually, in all of these newest weapons released in this game. It's a very cool-looking weapon, and uh, I think there could this could actually open up some doors for future little flamethrowers in the, in the near future that are added to this game. Now, I'm not entirely sure how many really soft will actually add, and I do think that it would be cool if they added some that actually had different gameplay mechanics than some of the other ones, as I don't think there should be 15 million weapons that are all the same as the pet dragon, because it would kind of be a little bit repetitive to have a bunch of the weapons with the same exact stats. So if really soft added different flamethrowers that maybe were different colors, but had different mechanics, then it would be very, very cool. Like, for example, you could have a blue flamethrower, like something like the Icicle Minigun, where when you fire at somebody, it slows the enemy player down. So, you could maybe create a flamethrower like that, so somebody who has a very fast mobility weapon, like maybe the katana, if you fire your little flamethrower at them, it would, it would make them much slower, and it would make it a lot easier for you to take them out. This weapon is a very fast reload as well, and another thing that I highly recommend you guys to use is the engineer cape. I'll equip it right now and I can show you guys. As you guys can see, it tremendously accelerates reloading time of weapons from the special category, and it also, as an added benefit, actually increases the amount of time that you have when you do get a gear item. So, say you have a turret, you can actually have a lot more time with the turret, and something like your jetpack will last a lot longer, and it's an all-around very, very good cape to have. As you guys can see, this is how fast the weapon reloads. Very fast reload. One of the fastest reloads, actually, in this entire game, and it's very interesting to see a flamethrower have the fastest one, but with the engineer's cape, that is how this weapon works. So, it is a very cool-looking weapon, has a very fast reload, which is another big benefit, and uh, I don't really have too much else I need to say, really, honestly, about this Gas Launcher UP-1. A lot of the things that I have said in this video are pretty repetitive to the Flaming Volcano, the High Voltage, and the Pet Dragon reviews, as they all are, like I said, very similar in terms of the way the gameplay mechanics work. So, yeah, if I said anything very similar to those ones, that's kind of just how these weapons work. So, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure to go check out that video that I said at the very beginning was linked down below in the, de in the description. Because if you check that video out, you will have quite possibly one of the, quite possibly one of the best viewer experiences ever on YouTube. You guys are really going to enjoy it. Also, if you guys would like to see a different or a specific weapon review next, um, make sure to go comment down below which one you would like to see. I said this at the beginning of all of my weapon reviews, and I 
kind of forgot to say it at the beginning of this one, but make sure to comment down below which one you would like to see next. And like I always say, whatever weapon gets the most amount of comments will be the one that we review next. Also, make sure to go check out my other series I do on various different types of different things. I do on Pixel Gun 3D. I do a gun comparison series. I do a random weapon gameplay series where I choose a specific topic and do some gameplay with weapons fitting that topic. Some of those topics in the most recent times be being dual wield weapon gameplay, um, high lethality weapon gameplay, American weapon gameplay, and such like that. I have like 40 of those, so you guys will have a lot of different content to have. I have like 100 plus weapon reviews. I think I have close to around 120 weapon reviews, so I have a ton of these weapon reviews and uh, you guys should be pretty busy with those two. Also check out the other ones. I have a colored weapon gameplay series, which I should probably do another episode relatively soon. I'm gonna do a Pixel Gun World episode very soon. I just wanted to get this weapon review out of the way and um, I have a series on Deadly Games, which I actually plan on doing relatively soon. I know a lot of people like my Deadly Games series, so I'm going to try to do another episode very, very soon, so you guys will not have to wait any longer for those. It's been a long time between a Deadly Games episode, and I, I don't want you guys to wait much longer between those and between the Pixel Gun World video. You guys were very patient for those next videos to come out, and uh, it's just about time for those ones to come out, guys. Waited just a little bit longer, and they will be out. So, I just wanted to make this match actually finish, and, uh, yeah, so, that is the end of the match here, guys. Despite me going up against tons and tons of Adamant Armor Storm Hammer users, other users using area damage weapons like the Dark Matter Generator and such, we still were able to hold out getting seven kills with our mighty little flamethrower, and, hey, it's pretty good, so. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go like, comment, and subscribe if, like, I... I don't know if I said that already, but if I didn't, make sure to go do that. And let's go get one last kill. And with that one last kill, we should be good. Hopefully, it'll be someone relatively soon. It'll be probably this guy right here. Or not. Not entirely sure who it's going to be. It's going to be this guy who keeps jumping around. Um, it is pretty difficult to take the people jumping around for sure with this weapon. So try to find the people that like to stay on the ground like I do. I don't really like to stay on top too much but um hey it is what it is so let's try to get one last kill i'm trying to avoid the people that have the laser bouncers and the one shot kill weapons it's kind of difficult to try to find somebody who doesn't instantly one shot kill you it seems like this map is bombarded now by the laser bouncers so hey we're gonna try our best and i think we're probably going to be able to get this person and there we go so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next episode